returns, please. Please. I want to live again. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 movies that will make you cry. I had a dream my life would be. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the saddest films that aren't animated or documentaries. Note that there will be some spoilers ahead. Did we forget an emotional movie that makes you tear up? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. The Notebook A guilty pleasure for some and a romantic classic for everyone else. The Notebook tugs at the heartstrings with a tale of star-crossed lovers. So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. And we're gonna have to work at this every day, but I want to do that because I want you. Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams bring a natural chemistry to this period story that includes more than one touching sequence between the two. Who among us could forget their tearful meeting in the rain? Nicholas Sparks' book comes to life in these kinds of iconic scenes. There's also the surprise reveal near the end, whereby the true meaning of the central relationship comes into focus in a shocking and impactful way. Their final moments together are as heartbreaking as any cinematic romance. What's going to happen when I can't remember anything anymore? What will you do? Number 19. Hachi, A Dog's Tale Based on a true story, Hachi, A Dog's Tale dramatizes the life of a loyal dog's relationship with its owner. Oh. Lost it. The production is a remake of the Japanese flick Hachiko Monogatari from 1987 about a real Akita. It also goes without saying that many narratives about a loving partnership between humans and dogs don't end well. This particular tale has one of the more heart-wrenching twists of its kind, with Richard Gere's character dying and leaving his prized pet behind. Hachi proves his loyalty by waiting for the man long after he's gone. Inspirational and deeply moving, the reality of this movie makes the ending that much more devastating. Oh, you will think you're still waiting. Number 18, Blue Valentine. Derek Sion France's Blue Valentine tracks the course of a tumultuous relationship from its promising beginning to its bitter end. We're not good together, we're not good anymore. Don't the way that, that we treat each other. I can't stop! You can't stop! I can't stop! I don't know what else to do! I can't stop, I can't stop. <laughs> Dean and Cindy meet and stay together to raise a child, despite being in different places in their lives. The dramatic romance follows them years later as they develop several problems, having grown apart because of their career paths and other issues such as alcohol. Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams give career best performances, capturing the nuances of a partnership that can't seem to heal. In particularly tense arguments, the two actors embody their roles in sequences that don't hold back. The culmination of their pain comes together in an ending that's brutally honest about love. You said for better or worse. You said that. You said it. It was a promise. Number 17. The Pursuit of Happiness the Pursuit of Happiness follows the life of Chris Gardner, played by Will Smith, in a notably dramatic performance. This part of my life, this little part, is called happiness. Gardner is a man struggling as a father, trying to find a job and dealing with being evicted in a movie based on a real story. The salesman looks for work, raises his child, and stays strong despite his circumstances. Smith stars with his own son, Jaden, which makes the heartwarming scenes between the two even more authentic. Pulling together both his natural charm and ability to turn serious on a dime, the actor infuses this film with a welcome dose of humanity that's incredibly inspiring. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right. Number 16, Moonlight. Winning the Oscar for Best Picture, Moonlight discusses the complexities of growing up in three separate chapters. I want to do a lot of things that don't make sense. 
the young Chiron struggles to understand his place in the world and his sexuality in an acclaimed adaptation of the play In Moonlight, Black Boys Look Blue. He struggles with an abusive upbringing, but finds guidance from a drug dealer that teaches him about life. Director Barry Jenkins presents each segment with particular attention paid to the beautiful performances from an outstanding cast. The main character's journey is an unforgettable story that speaks to the person in all of us that wishes to be loved. Remember the last time I saw you? For a long time, I try not to remember. Number 15, Les Miserables. Adapting the beloved musical to the screen, Les Miserables tackles Victor Hugo's novel with some compelling performances. Hugh Jackman squeezes every ounce of emotionality into his turn as Jean Valjean, a man who evades a determined police inspector in a series of several interlocking stories. Stole a loaf of bread. My sister's child was close to death. We were starving. We'll starve again. Anne Hathaway won an Academy Award for playing the factory worker who tragically dies and leaves behind a daughter. The I Dreamed a Dream scene is one of several musical numbers that reminds audiences of the original show's humanity. Blending a poignant story with the weight of history, the ensemble comes together in powerful sequences. <laughs> Number 14, Still Magnolias. Still Magnolias is a 1980s classic starring an all-star list of amazing actresses. The main narrative centers around a group of friends in Louisiana who find their way through personal and family problems. I managed in a few decades to marry the two most worthless men in the universe and then proceeded to have the three most ungrateful children ever conceived. Julia Roberts' character Shelby is a diabetic who wants a life free from her mother's control, but unfortunately, further health problems lead to her death. With the likes of Sally Field and Shirley MacLaine rounding out the impressive list of performers, this southern staple will make you laugh, cry, and feel a renewed sense of gratitude for our loved ones. Through it all, the women and their friendship endures in a story about community and perseverance. I shouldn't have gone on the way I did. I made everybody cry. I'm sorry. You silly. Laughter through tears is my favorite emotion. Number 13, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Detailing a friendship between two boys, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas examines World War II from a completely new angle. The main character doesn't understand that his new friend on the other side of a fence is in a concentration camp. I can dig under. What was that? No, but I could break something. You don't want to come over here. Making a statement about childlike innocence, the impact of this story is profound in its way of handling a subject like the horrors of the Holocaust. The wholesomeness of the main relationship generates a strong response in viewers who are forced to consider themselves or their relatives in a similar position. There's also the ending, which features one of the more shocking finales in recent memory. <laughs> Number 12, Philadelphia. Tom Hanks stars in this courtroom drama about an attorney with AIDS that sues his boss for wrongful termination. Hanks plays the central role in an Oscar-winning performance as a character that's fighting for his life and against discrimination. You have a new baby. Yeah, yeah, little baby girl. It's one of the first mainstream Hollywood films that tackled the disease in a direct and honest way. Not shying away from the effects of the illness, Philadelphia engages audiences with a complicated subject matter in an inspiring production. The main actor and Denzel Washington both deliver effective work in a movie that breaks down barriers and culminates in a moving finale. Excellent work, Counselor. I thank you. That was great working with you. Number 11, Sophie's Choice. Containing perhaps Meryl Streep's most famous role from earlier in her career, Sophie's Choice concerns the story of a woman grappling with unspeakable guilt and the horrors of the Holocaust. Only a Jesus who no longer cared for me could kill those people that I love. Streep's work is unquestionably brilliant as she brings delicate layers of sadness to the title character. 
She attempts to deal with the weight of her past trauma, which includes sending her daughter away to be killed in order to save herself and her son. The scene in question highlights the effects of an impossible decision, in a moment that still shocks audiences with its horror. It's ultimately a film that digs deep to ask everyone if they could survive such an event, while also revealing what happens when somebody can't bear to face such a loss. More than that, I now see. It was a frantic attempt to beat back death. Number 10. Field of Dreams even if the initial premise seems to focus on the sport, Field of Dreams isn't just a movie for baseball fans. It's actually a fantasy film that deals with family, relationships, and aspirations. This field, this game, is a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good. And it could be again. Kevin Costner plays the farmer who hears voices and decides to build a baseball diamond where his corn should be. Over the course of the imaginative story, he brings people together and encounters long dead players. This all builds to the scene where he meets his deceased father, and the audience's tear ducts start to flow. In the last moment, the main character finds a way to reconnect with his dad by playing catch. Hey, Dad? You want to have a catch? I'd like that. Number 9. My Girl A favourite of the early 1990s, the coming-of-age plot of My Girl surrounds a friendship between a young girl and boy in the 1970s. Well, I guess I'll go home and finish off War and Peace. It's summer! Your kids, go play! The lead character, Vader, also deals with the fact that she's entering a new stage of her life and might have a new stepmom. Following the universal worries of growing up, the story already has plenty of nostalgic scenes on its own that could be seen as sad. This all leads up to the most famous sequence that comes after Macaulay Culkin's death. Actress Anna Klumski storms into the funeral parlour to see her friend lying in a casket in a gut-wrenching moment. The narrative of loss and grief speaks to adults as much as it does to children. His face hurts. And where is his glasses? He can't see without his glasses. Number 8. Brokeback Mountain Brokeback Mountain was groundbreaking in its original release, telling the story of a gay romance between two cowboys. You know, it could be like this, just like this always. Yeah, how do you figure that? The main plot concerns a relationship that both men try to keep secret from their wives, family, and society in general. Finding the authenticity in their roles, Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal each sell the intricacies of their characters. Their doomed affair has more than a few intense moments of heartbreak as they come to grips with the attitudes of the day. After Gyllenhaal's Jack dies, the other reels from the loss in one of Ledger's finest scenes. The storyline is a tragedy in many ways, reflecting on the complexities of love in an unjust world. I wish I knew how to quit you. Number 7. Manchester by the Sea Manchester by the Sea was widely considered a critically acclaimed and depressing movie. Look, Lee, he made a horrible mistake, like a million other people did last night. I'm not gonna crucify it. This doesn't necessarily do the film justice, as it's much more complicated than merely being a sad story about death. Casey Affleck's character returns to his hometown to take care of his nephew after his brother's death. This stirs up memories about the reason he left, including the fateful night where his mistake cost him the lives of his children. He wears his grief on his sleeve in every scene, and the movie doesn't avoid the darkness inherent with this kind of topic. Affleck's performance is subtle and a highly detailed glimpse into a man who finds himself unable to move forward, but his attempts to do so make it all the more emotional. Is to talk about this now? No. Number 6. Old Yeller Few Disney films were as pivotal for a generation of kids. He's suffering. You know we've got to do it. I know, Mama. <coughs> he was my dog. I'll do it. Old Yeller might not be as widely seen today, but it's such a well-known reference that it resonates with any age. The story of a boy taking in a stray dog speaks to the inner child in all of us, taking audiences back to the time we find and then eventually lose our pet. The distressing ending holds a place in history for arguably traumatizing anybody who sees it at a particular age. 
Disturbing and memorable, Travis's final act reminds everyone of the painful events that can shape a life. Now and then, for no good reason a man can figure out, life will just haul off and knock him flat. Number five, Dead Poet Society. Inspiring a legion of writers and teachers in its wake, Dead Poet Society finds a way to make school engaging once more. Mr. Anderson! Don't think that I don't know that this assignment scares the hell out of you, you mole. Robin Williams gives a tour de force performance as an instructor with a gift for inspiring his students. Along the way, he gives each and every one of them a reason to believe in themselves. The film also deals with the reality of home life and parental approval, leading to a tragedy among the group. Despite the saddening death scene, the story also has plenty of room for tears of joy. William's mission statement about seizing the day still feels as heartfelt and vital in today's world. For the first time, I'm gonna do it! Whether my father wants me to or not, Carpe Diem! Number four, It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life is a perennial holiday classic for its ability to enthrall audiences with its humanity. What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, all right? Jimmy Stewart stars as the good-hearted George Bailey, an honest man struggling in a world that won't give him a break. His troubles culminate in a depressive episode that clears up with the help of a guardian angel. It's a stirring tale about discovering your own worth in society, in a film that makes people have a wide range of emotions. Viewers invite the movie into their homes every year to experience the highs and lows of life. Look, Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Number three, Titanic. All of the awards and pop culture debates aside, Titanic nails the feeling of being on the fateful voyage in 1912. Keep order here! Keep order, I say! The last portion of the epic dramatizes the infamous sinking in staggering detail. A band plays off the passengers as they try to stay afloat for as long as possible, knowing that there's little chance any of them will survive. It's an endlessly heartbreaking conclusion that also includes the chilling end of Jack and Rose's love story. Both the fictional and historical elements of the movie come together in spectacular fashion, producing an undeniably tragic tale. I'll never let go. I promise. <laughs> Number two, The Green Mile. The Green Mile is a Stephen King adaptation about the relationship between a prison guard and a death row inmate. Blending fantasy and drama, this story showcases a prisoner's healing abilities that begin an unlikely friendship. What did you just do to me? I helped it. Didn't I help it? Michael Clark Duncan's performance as the gentle giant makes for an incredibly touching portrayal of goodness and decency. Next to the likes of Tom Hanks, he produces miracles that make us question our own preconceived notions and the actual measure of a person's kindness. The movie challenges viewers on issues of criminal justice and features a dramatic execution that's sure to bring a tear to anyone's eye. Don't put me into talk. I was afraid of the talk. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Schindler's List Steven Spielberg's intense look into the Holocaust continues to be an important examination of the event. This is really cruel, Oscar. You're giving them hope. You shouldn't do that. That's cruel! The director shows the subsequent stages of wartime Poland, from the initial persecution of the Jewish people to their execution by the Nazis. As businessman Oskar Schindler works to save as many people as he can, the narrative attempts to find a shred of decency in a terrible historical moment. This also requires showing the various violent acts perpetrated by German soldiers and officers during the darkest days of the 20th century. Spielberg's unflinching depiction of violence and inhumanity brings a painful reality to the screen, ensuring that the real history will never be forgotten. As Hebrew from the Talmud, it says, whoever saves one life saves the world entire. 
Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.